Good evening, I'm Anthony Mason. On Wall Street, it was a day of high fives for five highs, five in a row, as the Dow gained 72 points to close at 21,963. Since Donald Trump was elected president on November 8th, 38 weeks ago, the Dow is up nearly 20%. In the first quarter of this year, the average 401k retirement account held more than $95,000. The average IRA, more than 98,000, both records. But Jim Axelrod reports the strength of the market may not reflect the overall economy. For the fifth straight day, the Dow Jones closed at a record high, just missing the 22,000 mark the president predicted it could hit. Wall Street is full of smiles these days. We would give the stock market probably an A right now. But Joe Zeidel with Richard Bernstein Advisors points out the markets reflect not politics, but profits. And corporate profits have been climbing steadily for the last year and a half at giants like McDonald's and Boeing. And I think the biggest mistake that people make is they confuse companies with the economy. The stock market's grading out at an A. Mm -hmm. How's the economy grading out? Not as strong. Take cars, for instance. After seven straight years of growth, sales were down 7.5% at Ford last month, more than 10% at Fiat Chrysler, and more than 15% at GM. Melanie Epstein is seeing it at the Wempe Jewelers she helps manage in Manhattan. The middle class buyer tends to not be as spontaneous anymore. And they don't buy on a whim coming in and purchasing the piece right away. They're a little bit more cautious. Zeidel explains that wages still haven't caught up to job growth, although he thinks that's next for what is still a growing economy. And it may not grow as quickly as you would like or as robustly as you would like, but there's no question the U.S. economy is growing. It's absolutely right. Just and not as fast as the stock market. Correct. At eight years and counting, this is the third longest economic expansion in U.S. history. Keep in mind, however, the average recovery tends to last seven years. Anthony? It's still waiting for that real wage growth. Thanks, Jim.